Here's the challenge. Two modern systems languages both promise power without training wheels. One says, I'll show you every gear tooth. The other says, I'll keep your fingers out of the gears. Today we're finding out which one actually lets you feel the machine, Zig or Rust. Now let's get clear on what closer to the metal means. It's not just benchmark bragging rights, it's about how directly your code maps to memory, instructions, and timing. It's about predictability. When you read a line of code, can you roughly foresee the allocations, the layout, and the branches you'll get in assembly? If fewer invisible layers sit between you and the CPU, you're closer. Historically, that crown belonged to C and assembly. But C's freedom means you need an equal amount of discipline. Without the appropriate standards and discipline, you can get undefined behavior, loose error handling, and a build ecosystem that feels like a collection of patched together rituals. Not everyone is willing or potentially even able to manage these parts of C or even C++. Zig and Rust try to keep the power while modernizing the experience and smoothing the path for those devs, just in radically different ways. Zig first. Zig is brutally explicit. No hidden allocator, no exceptions, no implicit runtime. Uh, you pick an allocator, you pass it around, and you own the consequences. Errors are values. Not sudden control flow teleports. When you write code in Zig, the language tries not to surprise you later. Zig's philosophy is say less, reveal more, Want to see what the compiler actually spit out? You can emit readable assembly with the compiler's flag like this and inspect exactly what will run. Want to control binary layout or call conventions? You can. The language nudges you toward clarity instead of cleverness, and it doesn't smuggle in behavior behind your back. A big part of that control story is the build. Zig doesn't punt to make or see make. It gives you a first class build description in Zig itself. Targets, steps, linking, testing, all described in code you can reason about. The result isn't flashy, it's dependable. You get repeatable builds and a workflow that doesn't require a separate DSL and a stack of arcane flags. Zig's error handling reinforces that no magic attitude. Errors are ordinary, typed results you propagate explicitly. There's no stack unwinding surprise, no hidden allocations from exceptions, and no catch-all safety net. If you want protection, you write it. If you want speed, you know what it costs. And because Zig was designed with C interop in mind, it treats C like a first-class neighbor. Uh, you can import headers directly and port code progressively. For teams with a huge C surface area, that's a very practical way to claw back performance or clarity one module at a time. Now, Rust. Rust is what happens when you say, we want C's power, but we keep creating landmines for ourselves. It's not trying to be transparent first, it's trying to be safe and correct by default. Ownership, borrowing, and lifetimes are the central ideas. The compiler becomes your bodyguard, blocking use after free, data races, and many classes of undefined behavior. Rust has two personalities. The safe face is rich with zero-cost abstractions, iterators, pattern matching, enums with exhaustive handling, and trait-driven APIs that can feel positively high-level. But the promise is that these abstractions still compile to lean code. When you need to go off-road, Rust lets you enter unsafe. From there, you can do pointer arithmetic, inline assembly, and FFI with C. The difference is you mark the danger zone explicitly, and the rest of the program remains guarded. From a hardware proximity standpoint, Rust often generates excellent machine code. But there's a psychological gap. The compiler is doing a lot to guarantee your safety and some of that work bounds checks, niche optimizations, borrow checking, lives in the realm of trust the optimizer. You can verify the output, but the language's default posture is to give you correctness first, then performance. Rust also stands on a tower of tooling, 
uh, cargo is a gem, editor integration, testing, docs, benchmarks, cross compilation, versioning. It's all coherent. The crate ecosystem is mature and deep, and for many projects, that ecosystem speed is the difference between shipping this quarter or next year. Performance and predictability are where the comparison gets interesting. Rust uses LLVM for code generation. Zig can target LLVM as well, but it also ships self-hosted backends. So, depending on your target and build mode, you may be compiling through LLVM or through Zig's own backend. In many real workloads, they perform similarly. What changes is the path to that performance. Zig encourages a style where you can anticipate the cost of each line, you chose the allocator, you see the error paths, you shape the data layout. The language avoids auto-insertion of guards or helpers and unless you asked for them. If you care about steady latency, cache behavior, and stable inlining from build to build, that predictability feels very close to the metal. Rust's abstractions can be just as fast in practice, but the cognitive model is different. The compiler is willing to layer in checks, monomorphize aggressively, and eliminate overhead you never asked to pay. The result is often fantastic machine code, but you need to either trust or verify. If you're chasing a stubborn tail latency spike, that verification step can matter. Memory and failure modes tell a similar story. Zig puts allocators up front. You can use arena, stack, fixed buffer, or custom strategies, and you pass them explicitly. That explicitness scales down to tiny embedded environments because you can keep global state and unexpected allocations out of your critical path. Rust's memory story is guided by ownership. Most everyday containers are heap-backed, but the language pushes you to make lifetimes and mutation patterns explicit. Uh, when you truly need precise control, you can write bump allocators, use stack-based arrays with const generics, or design arena-like patterns in safe code. When you hit the edge, this is a scalpel, not a sledgehammer. For error handling, the Zig's error unions are predictable. Either you got a value, or you got a named error, propagate, or handle. Rust's is similarly explicit, but because Rust encourages richer types and traits, you'll often see more ergonomic combinators that keep code tidy without losing clarity. In both languages, the happy path stays visible. Zig simply resists sugar on purpose. Rust embraces it when it compiles away. Metaprogramming is another place where metal shows up. Ziggs lets you run code at compile time and generate types, values, and functions based on the real world like probing target features, calculating table data, or building parsers. It's plain Zig, not a template language. Uh, the benefit is you can dial in zero overhead specialization while staying inside the language. Rust's answer is evaluation, macros, both declarative and procedural, and trait-based specialization patterns. You can carve incredibly tight code paths with compile time dispatch, SIMD intrinsics, and link time optimizations. The learning curve is steeper and the power is spread across several features, but the end result is, is similar, specialized code with no runtime baggage. Uh, FFI and systems integration both excel, but with different friction. Zig feels native with C, bring the headers and go. That simplicity makes it attractive for gradually replacing C files in performance critical libraries or kernels. Rust's FFI is robust, but more ceremony laden. You'll lean on several commands, labeling, and careful boundary design. The upside is that once inside Rust, your invariants tighten dramatically. If you want tooling and ecosystem maturity, Rust wins today. Cargo is the bar. The community has crates for everything from embedded HALs to databases and async runtimes. Zig's tooling is improving quickly. Its build system is cohesive and the compiler is fast, but its package story and breadth of community libraries aren't as far along. If you want to stand on ready-made shoulders, Rust makes that easier, developer experience and team velocity. Zig rewards engineers who value mechanical sympathy and can curate their own guardrails. It makes heroic, 
low level work approachable without hiding the cost. Rust rewards teams who want guarantees and long-term maintainability, where correctness under concurrency and refactors is paramount. The borrow checker is a teacher. Early on, it feels strict. Later, it becomes an ally. So who's closer to the metal? If closeness means transparency, minimal abstraction, explicit allocation, predictable control flow, Zig takes it. You feel the machine, and you can read cost directly off the code. If closeness means authority over the metal without losing guardrails, low-level power with invariants that hold as your system grows, Rust takes it. You still reach for raw pointers and intrinsics, but the safe perimeter remains intact. In other words, Zig hands you the wrench and good lighting. Rust hands you the wrench and a torque limiter. Both tighten the bolt. Your choice depends on whether you want to see every thread or guarantee you won't strip it. Here's how I'd choose. You're incrementally adding to C in a performance sensitive library. You want direct C header imports and you want allocator discipline up front. Uh, go zig. You're building a complex uh, concurrent service uh, or a long-lived code base with many contributors and correctness is as important as throughput. Go Rust. For kernels, bootloaders, tiny firmware, and spots where determinism beats convenience, Zig's simplicity is a feature. For storage engines, networking stacks, compilers, and anything with hairy concurrency, Rust's safety story pays dividends. Both languages can get you to expert level machine code. Zig gets you there with fewer layers and a straighter line. Rust gets you there with stronger rails and a bigger ecosystem. The winner is the one that fits your problem and your team. Thanks for watching. What do you think is the better systems language? Do you think Rust steamrolls over Zig? Do you think Zig is the obvious simple choice? Or do you think this whole thing is stupid and we should just use C or C++? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to get more techie talk from the techie shop. If you like this video, watch this video here for more tech talk.